My name is Alex Grekis, and I want to welcome you to my Finding Lost Civilization series. Right now we're in an area called Grimes Point, which is located near the city of Fallon, Nevada. And in this area, there are 150 boulders that contain over a thousand petroglyphs. It's fantastic. Now this area looks like a high desert plain area. And in fact, 10,000 years ago, at the end of the Ice Age, when it receded, and the waters flowed from the ice. This whole area was a lake bed. Okay, most of Nevada was covered with water. So at one time, this area was a lake shore to the people that lived here. And these boulders containing the petroglyphs that we're gonna see were lake shore boulders. And you'll see that they're very smooth and they're smooth from the lapping waters of the lakes at that time. So this should be fun. Let's go out and explore Grimes Point. Well, this petroglyph bowler that we're coming across is very interesting. It could be as old as 7,000 years old. And what type of petroglyph art over here, we call it the pit and groove type style. Look at these, the pits and grooves. And on top of that, here's the squiggly line. Okay, this squiggly line is a symbol that you'll find in all petroglyph art around the world. What's interesting about this pit and groove boulder is it also has some other symbols Look at this over here, running up over there. And on the back side of the boulder, there's some more petroglyphs. There you have some symbols right over here. Very interesting. And then a boulder next to it has another symbol coming up over here. And again, we have the squiggly line, another squiggly line over here with a zero over there. And right over here, we have an another boulder, a pit and groove. But here's the interesting thing about this piece. It came off of here right here. That piece broke off and this is it right over here. So this is called the pit and groove style petroglyph and it's supposed to be or believed to be one of the most ancient form or styles of petroglyph art that we can find in the world. Well in front of us I think we have the most interesting peck and groove boulder that I've seen. Look at this. The whole boulder, the whole boulder is, 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 is covered with these grooves all up and down but look here's the fantastic things right on top these grooves now become grinding motors look at that one two three four five six these are large enough to be able to take nuts and to grind them and to grind them into food stuff this is a beautiful extremely beautiful pecking groove boulder that has a grinding slick or a grinding bowl, or in Mexico they would refer to it as a matate, all incorporated in this boulder. This is beautiful. This is really a beautiful piece. Look at that, all up and down over here. Pit and groove marks, pit and groove marks. This is a beautiful, beautiful. Look, here's another interesting aspect I noticed about this boulder. Right over here, they definitely drown foodstuffs. But look, it has a downward inclination you can tell this is all smooth and it runs down here. This could very well be a construction where items were ground. They were ground up over here and then placed over here and maybe with a liquid element, maybe water, brought down here into a basket where it was collected. This is incredible. But here's an interesting find I had. You have to look at these several times. Look at this right over here. We have a stick figure right here. There's the arms, there's the head, there's the legs. And look, it's a warrior, it's a man, there's the penis. So, <laughs> very interesting, you know. In most of the rock art that I've noticed, they depict men, not too many women, okay. Although the fertility symbol is quite unique and it could be easily spotted. So wherever they have the fertility symbol, which refers to a woman, it's not a symbol of a full-figured woman or a stick figure of a woman. No, it's a completely different symbol.
Well, I hope you've been enjoying this journey with me at Grimes Point. I tell you, you really have to look close. And sometimes you have to backtrack because the lighting is different. But I want to share a symbol that I found with you. That is one of my most favorite symbols. I love to find a spiral, and I found one over here. I missed it when I passed by it. But when I looked back to go back down the trail, I saw it. This is a beautiful one. So let's go take a look at it. Look at this over here. My goodness, this is a beautiful, beautiful spiral. Can you see it? There it is. <laughs> In my excitement, I should be careful not to fall down. But can you imagine that? Look at that. Look at the patina. This is really, really old. Because you can see the original. This is the original rock right here. This is the original patina. And over here, over here is where they pecked out the symbol. And look how dark the contrasts are. Very dark. So that's an indication that this symbol, that symbol, that spiral is very, very, very old. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Let me trace it for you again. Here we go. Here's the beginning. It comes around like this. There you have it. And there it ends. That's the spiral. This symbol is one of the five symbols that you'll find in all rock art throughout the world, the spiral. It's omnipresent in all rock art throughout the world. Whoa, what a great find. Well, let's take a look at the rest of this boulder over here. Okay, here we have, again, some abstract symbols. And look at here, you know, the pit and groove. There's the, there's the groove. The pit and groove method is used a lot in these a petroglyph. And that's a very ancient form. The pit and groove is an ancient form. But look at this. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Look at that right there. It almost looks like a shield or the setting sun to a shield. That is a beautiful, beautiful piece of rock art. So let's zoom in on it. Look at that. Wow. That's a really, really beautiful piece of rock art, you know. Now we call it rock art as if it, we seem to imply it's just art. But look, these markings, these petroglyphs, are a record of history. This is their equivalent to their written history. Look at this over here. This is, this is very beautiful here. Okay, this symbol right here, this symbol right up here, could very well, could very well be a representation of an alatol. Alatols were used before the bow and arrow. And if that symbol is an alatol, it's at least 1,500 years old. That's really mind-boggling when you think about that. So, let's continue.
Well, we have a beautiful boulder over here that's a really nice representation of the pit and groove style of petroglyph. It's right over here, and what you'll see is there's, there's a lot of symbols on it. It's really beautiful. Look at this over here. It's got the squiggly line, and it looks like it's got, you know, maybe a shield, you know, and, and right above it, a bunch of symbols. You can tell it's very old. It's a very old rock. But look at this right over here, right over here. Look at this, the pit and groove petroglyph art. It's beautiful. It's, com it's all around this rock. Let me go back, step back over here. And look at that, it goes all along the spine. Look at that, isn't that a beautiful view? So this is really, really beautiful, beautiful. So there we have, again, the pit and groove petroglyph style. Well, as I was walking this trail, I saw this boulder and I almost missed it. But I looked over and I saw this. Look at this over here. Here's a little circular pattern. And it goes all the way down, it goes all the way down in the boulder. Now, look at this over here. This is the regular color of the boulder. See the dark? Okay, there's that circular figure right here. It goes down here. But then the front face of the boulder, you can see that it's also, also been abraded. So I'm trying to put some kind of figure to these abstract drawings. Hard to say, but right next to it, there you have over here, the squiggly line, okay? And then as you come to the top of the boulder, it has, again, some interesting symbols. Look at this over here. You have one, two, there's a little little groove over here, and then it goes off to squiggly lines, okay? Again, squiggly line, a groove, squ squiggly line continues. Long line, groove, squiggly line. Very interesting. And then again over here, look at this. Kind of a circular pattern, you go down, squiggly line, and it seems like some type of head over here. There's other other markings here. Again, you can see right over here, kind of a squiggly line. Very interesting uh, petroglyph. Very old, very old for sure. Look at this here, beautiful too. Beautiful form of art. Well, we're coming up to another boulder. And I see some interesting designs over here. Look at this over here. To me, it almost represents perhaps a human. There's another figure right here. And look right over here. You have what's what I would consider a stick man right here. Here are the legs, okay, and here are the arms. Here's another stick man representation. There's the body, there's the legs right here, and here are the arms. And it looks like there's some kind of other symbol over here. But this is interesting. Right over, right over this boulder, it looks like there's these pit and groove symbols that go across the whole top of the boulder. If you look at it sideways, it almost looks like what you would see from an alligator skin. But there's pit and groove marks. This is very ancient. The pit and groove is one of the earliest forms of petroglyph art that we know of. This is a wonderful, wonderful boulder. Now one of the things that I've seen over here is this symbol over here of a cross. And you can look at the patina. In other words, it's white. It's white and colored. Okay, here's, here's a very ancient old one. It has a brown coloration to it. So these, with age, turn brown. Okay, the patina turns brown. When you see this over here, it's a newer version. Probably some form of graffiti. And right over here, as I mentioned before, Look at this, the initials B, J. You can see the light scratching, and it's light, it's white, okay? So, more than likely, that's a form of graffiti right there. To me, these look like three figures, or a series of figures. One, two, three, four, five. Five figures that I can see. Well, we've come across this wonderful boulder with some really beautiful symbols. We have the ever-present squiggly line. We have uh, this semicircle, three, three ridges to the semicircle. We have a circular pattern in there with a cross in the middle, and it looks like there's another figure up over it with another, with another circle. And right over here is another circle with points coming out from under it. And, uh, but I wanted to show you this over here, to show you how old 
how old this boulder is, how old these rocks are. Look at this over here. So the symbol was, was drawn on here. And you can see that it's, you know, the elements have eventually decayed the rock, you know. So, I mean, to do this to a stone, to a boulder, to decay it, to break it apart, takes hundreds and thousands of years of elements to do that. So this just gives you an example of how old these petroglyphs are. So there you have it. This boulder has disintegrated through time and age and weather. Well, it's been a wonderful day at Grimes Point, and I hope you've enjoyed yourself as much as I have. Before we leave here, I want to mention that although we know that ancient people lived here as far back as 9,000 years ago, when the first settlers arrived here, they ran into a group of Indians in a place called Stillwater Marsh, which is northwest of Grimes. And the peoples there, the American Indian people there, were from the northern Paiute. I guess tribe. And they were referred to as the two decad people, the two decad people, or cattail eaters. <laughs> people refer to them as cattail eaters. And what these Paiute Indians did was use all the resources of the marsh, the cattails, the reeds, and the grasses, to clothe themselves to make their fishing boats and to make their huts and also to prepare their food. And that's why they were called the cattail eaters. <laughs> so I wanted to share that with you so that we can put a perspective to who were the last known people living here. And they were the Northern Paiute American Indian. So let's say goodbye to Grimes Point and continue our journey in finding lost civilizations. Oh, hey, 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 yo,